गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स जैसा कि हम जानते हैं कि समर कैंप 2022 गुरुशाला का चल रहा है एंड आप सभी बच्चे जो हैं वो uh, सारे सेशंस में पार्टिसिपेट कर रहे हैं और काफी एक्टिवली हम देख रहे हैं कि बच्चे जो हैं वो अपने कोलेट्रल्स क्रिएट कर रहे हैं क्रिएटिव्स बना रहे हैं आर्ट एंड क्राफ्ट का यूज कर रहे हैं अभी हमने जुम्बा भी सीखा है थोड़ा बहुत एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी फेमस पर्सनैलिटी रविंद्र टैगोर अगर आप सभी बच्चों को ध्यान हो तो हमने लास्ट सेशन में डॉक्टर बी आर अम्बेडकर के बारे में बात किया था राइट right? और आज हम बात करने वाले हैं रविंद्रनाथ टैगोर के बारे में उनके जर्नी के बारे में उनके चैलेंजेस के बारे में द काइंड ऑफ चेंजेस एंड रिफॉर्म्स ही गॉट इनटू द सोसाइटी उसके बारे में हम बात करेंगे एंड ऑल्सो एज स्टूडेंट एज चिल्ड्रन हम कैसे कुछ वैल्यूज जो है उनके इनकल्केट कर सकते हैं अपनी डेली लाइफ प्रैक्टिस में डाल सकते हैं उसके बारे में जानेंगे ओके एंड टू हैव अ डिस्कशन ऑन दिस स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव अ वेरी स्पेशल एक्सपर्ट विद अस वी हैव डॉक्टर वी हैव मिस्टर मधु बाबू सर ही इज अ नेशनल बेस्ट अवार्डी टीचर ऑफ 2020 एंड ही हैज बीन वर्किंग फॉर द पास्ट 25 फाइव ईयर्स इन हेल्पिंग चिल्ड्रन टू इम्प्रूव कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स ओके कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स कैसे इंप्रूव कर सकते हैं वो उस फील्ड में ऑलरेडी काम कर रहे हैं काफी समय से ही वाज आल्सो द की रिसोर्स पर्सन हु हैज वर्क्ड फॉर एनसीईआरटी एपीएससीआरटी एंड दीक्षा प्लेटफॉर्म ओके बच्चों तो आज मधु बाबू सर जो हैं वो हमारे साथ हैं मधु बाबू सर कैन यू हियर अस यस मैम यस सर इफ यू कैन जस्ट चेक योर वीडियो बिकॉज़ वी आर नॉट एबल टू सी यू Yeah, you please check it. Now okay, okay. all right. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Uh, so we'll we'll uh, get back to uh, Madhu Babu sir. वो अभी join करेंगे हमें फिर से. Uh, for the time being, students, हम देख रहे हैं यहाँ पे बच्चे जो हैं वो already join भी करते जा रहे हैं. Uh, can we quickly have some responses from the students in the chat? चार्ट में बच्चे अगर एक बार हमें बताएं कि कहां कहां से बच्चों ने ज्वाइन किया है एंड व्हाट इज वन थिंग दैट दे आर वेरी हैप्पी अबाउट टुडे कोई ऐसी एक चीज जिसके बारे में बच्चे बहुत एक्साइटेड हैं वेकेशन हमारे ऑलरेडी चल रहे हैं और आ, काफी सारे बच्चे जो हैं समर कैंप में पार्टिसिपेट कर रहे हैं दे आर ऑल्सो इंजॉइंग अलॉट मैंशन जस्ट वन थिंग दैट वॉट आर यू रियली एक्साइटेड अबाउट टूडे एंड वेयर हैव यू ज्वाइन फ्रॉम कमेंट्स में हमको देखना है सभी बच्चों का नाम लिखिए अपना और आप लोग ये बताइए जल्दी से कि आप आज कौन सी एक चीज के बारे में बहुत एक्साइटेड हैं आई कैन सी चिल्ड्रन इन द चैट यस बच्चों अच्छा एक और चीज जो हम देख रहे हैं अभी समर कैंप के दौरान स्टूडेंट्स जो हैं वो काफी सारा मतलब Uh, जब पार्टिसिपेट भी कर रहे हैं ना तो कई सारे हमने कार्ड्स देखे हैं काफी सारे पोस्टर्स हमने देखे बच्चों के बहुत सुंदर सुंदर पोस्टर्स बनाए हैं उन्होंने एंड कंपटीशन uh, भी हुआ है और हमें यहाँ पे बच्चों के नाम भी आ रहे हैं आर एन नारायण जो है वो उन्होंने ज्वाइन किया है देवेश ने ज्वाइन किया है वी हैव मेनी मेनी स्टूडेंट्स जो कि यहाँ पे सब लोग ज्वाइन करके समझने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं कि आज हम क्या सीखने वाले हैं और यहाँ पे अच्छा हमें सर ने भी ज्वाइन कर लिया है मधु बाबू सर ने भी हमें ज्वाइन कर लिया है वेलकम बैक सर थैंक यू सो मच मैम होप आई एम ऑडिबल एंड विजिबल या या परफेक्टली फाइन सर और राइट सो सर बच्चे जो हैं वो वेट कर रहे हैं अब हम स्टार्ट uh, करते हैं अपने सेशन को और uh, हम चाहेंगे कि आप बच्चों को अब uh, रविंद्रनाथ टैगोर के बारे में थोड़ा सा इंफॉर्मेशन दें एंड उनको बताएं कि उनकी जर्नी उनके चैलेंजेस एंड ऑल्सो हाउ ही इमर्ज आउट As a leader uh, and a social reformer, also. उसके बारे में थोड़ा सा information बच्चों के साथ share करें. Right. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. And my dear students, a big welcome to all the students who are enjoying the summer camp from Gurushala. Hope you are enjoying every session. And today we are very happy to be here. And I would like to present a brief. Uh, note on our uh, laureate mr 
Rabindranath Tagore ji and let us see what we can learn from and how best we can inspire from the works of uh, our great laureate Rabindranath Tagore now let me share my screen yes so um yeah yes, we you, we can't see your screen yet i think you will have to share your screen uh, the presentation because right now i think you've uh, shared the stream yard screen can you just try resharing it the presentation yeah, only good. yeah sure yes perfect okay fine so well my dear students the big question here we have today is why are we having this conversation today well i know that this month is celebrated and known for tago jayanti that we have celebrated recently on 7th of may and well uh, why do we want to know about such great personalities and whenever you want to know the biography of such great personalities and i'm sure that we'll get a lot of inspiration information and knowledge so we can say that tago was a multi talented personality with a great desire to learn new things and i know that every student should have such strong desire and well another important thing is that uh, any person we are talking about uh, any familiar personality means and they might have contributed a lot towards in the fields of education or the society and here uh, we are very very fortunate to have such a great personality who has contributed a lot to literature music and several works are unforgettable and especially he wrote many poems on themes related to freedom peace and devotion and the biggest achievement for any person is that and ravina tagore was awarded the most prestigious award that is nobel prize in 1913 and what we can learn and what we can have is he is known for his elegant prose and magical poetry and now let's see more about rabindra tagore ji and first we will have at a glance we will see about rabindra tagore uh, he was born on may 7th in 1861 and he was born in kolkata and now remember his pen name and it is banu singha tagore and he was born to his parents like uh, debinna tagore and sarada devi uh, well uh, he was married to mrinali devi who is you know like a big support to him and he had uh, very young and inspiring children like renuka tagore and shamidana tagore meera tagore rabbi uh, rathindrana tagore and madri lata tago and today we are here because his profession is he is a writer and he is a song composer playwright essayist and painter and we know the famous thing again and again we'll be repeating to get inspiration is that he has received the nobel prize for literature in 1913 right children and now finally at last he died on 7th august in 1941 leaving the legacy behind all of us and bringing big name and fame to kolkata not only kolkata not only to west bengal in india and even we can see in and abroad right now why the big question again is why we want to talk about rabindranath tagore today he has contributed a lot in terms of literature and the big thing that is that 
Rabindranath Tagore has contributed a lot on education. And here are the basic principles of uh, Rabindranath Tagore's related to education. The first thing is that harmony with all things. You know, uh, he loves to be with maintain that peace, right? And and is slowly and closely acquainted with the nature and the human surroundings. And we all know that the major concern and in his writing is the principle of freedom. And another important area is he focuses always on the creative self-expression where many of our students are very good at the communication and that is what it is very much the need of the hour right you can say that all the knowledge in the world is useless if you can't communicate in a way that others can understand so you know how important is communication skills to all of us so these are the basic principles where our rabindra tagore is focusing on his education well, now let's see what are the outcomes of this. And uh, how many of you have known or have seen or have visited Santiniketan, which is situated in Kolkata? Right? So what do you know about Santiniketan? And uh, what kind of schools you are enjoying? Your education. How do you feel? Uh, you can uh, chat in the chat box, like how well you are enjoying your education. But the most prominent work we want to know about our Rabindranath Tagore is that the works related to Shantini Ketan. And what is the other name for that, children? Yes, it is. It is exactly the open air school, right? Now let's see why the Shantiniketan and what kind of philosophy is underlying in this Shantiniketan, right? Uh, let's listen from the Tagore's words. What Tagore says about the education: the highest education is that which does not merely give us information but makes our life in harmony with all existence. In the first slide only, I was talking about the harmony. So everybody thinks that while if you want to educate children, we want to turn and give loads of knowledge, like in the name of information. But what exactly according to our Tagurji is required is, we have to make our life in harmony, right? And we need to have peaceful and good transformation. Hope uh, you children will follow that. And now let's see where it is located. It is located in the heart of nature. This school is aimed to combine education with a sense of obligation towards the larger civic community. Uh, education is not just confined to the learning what we are doing in our classrooms, right? So it is the curriculum uh, revolved organically around nature with classes being held in the open air, not just confined to the four classrooms as now we are, we are and we have to face that uh, whole, for the whole day, we are not supposed to go out of our classroom. That is the pathic situation. But whereas, see, the good thing is that uh, if we have the classes in the open air, like uh, sitting under the tree, enjoying the garden, right? So that is what um, Tagore uh, focuses on this Shantini Ketan. And why? Why this idea has come is Tagore wanted his students to feel free despite being in the formal learning environment at a school because he himself had dropped out of school when he found himself 
unable to think within the four walls in the classroom hope you can understand see either as a poet or as a student when you want to communicate something the best thing is that what you have to do is you have to you should need some space that democratic space is required and that is the main aim of uh, this shantiniketan right so what is shantiniketan it is just held in the open air and now let us see some more information about this and rabindra tagore his work starts from 1901 to 1932 that is where he worked in that completely in that ashram and it is just like an ashram with a marble floor prayer hall and we can say that it is an experimental school grows to trees gardens a library so this is the major uh, area when we talk about shantiniketan and within four or five years he came to ashram his father took him there and then his father died and he received monthly payments as part of his inheritance and income from the maharaja of tripura and his family jewelry and one thing we have to note down is that he used to get 2000 rupees from the books royalty and children if you can write a small piece of poem or if you are inspired by our uh, rabindra chago you too can write poems we will try and we will work with small areas in the later stages so this is all about our shantiniketan and how he worked hard and how he used to spend time with children and on education and now uh here are some quotes for you to get inspiration and i really love as i was saying the basic principles don't forget uh rabindra tago focuses on right what is, what, what what was the first thing we were talking harmony right and nature so now you can see the first one all the children reach high for stars lie hidden in you dream deep for every dream precedes the goal right and my guru used to say like that in uh, english is all about what to say and how to say and if you want to speak english in a better way the first thing is that you have to focus on pronunciation right so uh, we use, we focus on british pronunciation like rp and my guru shivaji sir used to say adu uh it is like you know british rp is something like we stars let us try to achieve it first of all you have to work you have to dream and so that you can reach your goals i know children you are all are having good goals and i'm sure that you will come with flying colors and another thing which is related to quite nature see if you cry because the sun has gone out of your life your tears will prevent you from seeing the stars right so you can understand so everybody has pain and gain like there is a quote nature is a pair of rotating pairs like opposite pairs as the day follows night night follows day happiness follows sadness sadness follows happiness and all the tough times you enjoyed up to now in school now you have vacation so like that so you have to think always in a positive way right now and another important quote is that uh this is what i really i like very much the most important lesson that man can learn from life is not that there is pain in the world but that it's possible for him to transmute in it it into joy it is in your hands and we can never think that nobody is perfect in this world and 
never think that all the people or nobody will have any problem everybody will have problem and we know the pain and we have to face the pain right so then only i said you know as i was saying like nature is a rotating pair of opposites pain and then gain happiness sadness in the same way what we have to do is we should be in a position to transform that pain into joy and that's all within your hands and that is what we have to learn from our ravinda tagore's quotes and now let's come to the works done by our ravinda tagore and these are there are many a number of works done by the great uh, tago and the famous works here we can talk about as gitanjali and nasaner gora gare bare and shashar kavita and kabuli wala right first master and then uh, khabir bali chokar bali and we will see in detail now right so rabindra tagore is known for his poetry he has written many novels yes says short stories travelogues dramas and thousands of songs right and when i said songs we should think about his works are frequently noted for their rhythmic and obstinate and lyrical nature he wrote autobiographies this is very important whenever you learn or read an autobiography of any familiar person the first thing is that you should know you will know what kind of uh, brought up was he or she and uh, how did he have his schooling then what kind of hardships he faced he or she faced and then what is the contribution he has given to the society and then what did he achieve or how did the government honor him after knowing all these things you should get inspiration like i too want to become one day like this and this is very important so that's why we learn and we have to read and we have to write also biographies about several people and now he has written autobiographies and his travelogues essays and his lectures were compiled into several volumes including europe jatir patro and manusha dharma and what we call like the religion of the man and remember his brief chart with einstein note on the nature of reality is included as an appendix and on the occasion of tagore's 150th birthday an anthology of the total body of his work was being published in bengali and this includes all visions of each work and fills about his great deeds now you can understand why we are having this conversation and today right and now let's see more about his works in detail and now we'll talk about the music and dance and his uh, poems and he has composed 2230 songs and he was a famous painter and his songs composed rabindra sangeet what do we call it rabindra sangeet is also known as tago song and it merges fluidly into his literature most of which poems are part of novels stories or plays alike were lyricized and you know everybody has his own style and he was completely influenced by the tumri style of hindustan music and they ran the entire gamut of human emotion ranging from his early days like brahmo devotional 
and they emulated the tonal color of classical ragas to varying extents and the body of tunes revamped with fresh value from select western hindustani bengali folk language so well uh now let's see uh there are famous novels and my dear children please try to note down or remember the important things because in uh, the at the final we'll have a quiz also now uh in terms of novels tagore wrote many novels but we are talking about eight novels here among them was chaturanga shashar kobita and charodai and nauka dubi gare baire the home and the world see look at that through the lens of the idealistic jamindar protagonist nikhil reflects the frog march of nativism charism popular among segments of the swedish movement and right a frank expression of tagore's conflicted sentiments it was conceived of during 1914 bout of depression the novel ends in grody like hindu muslim interplay and nick is likely dead from a head wound and the other one gora nominated by many bengali critics as his finest tale raises controversies regarding connect identity and its ultimate feasibility as with gare bairi matters of self identity like what we call like jati and the personal freedom and religion are lividly vivisected in a context of family and romance in it an irish boy orphaned in the right sepa community is raised by hindu as their titular gorave and children i think that you too might have recited and learned many poems about ravindranath tagore can anybody just share one or two that you have in your books like in our basically i am from ap and we have the poem like my mother way the mind is without fear any such poems you can chat in the chat box right i think so students will uh, they've heard your question and uh, okay. they will answer in a while we are uh, getting a lot of uh, comments in the chat uh, so i think in a while we'll start getting the responses also definitely definitely okay yes. that's what just um, Uh, you can share whatever uh, you have the poems and i'll be observing and i'll be watching yes and now let's see the uh, style of the poetry why i was asking about this tagore's poetry style which proceeds from a lineage established by 15th and 16th century and especially vaishnava poets it ranges from classical formalism to the comic visionary and eccentric and especially the poems he writes related to our motherland and related to freedom and related to peace and devotion right he was influenced by vyasa and other rishi authors of the upanishads the bhakti sufi mystic kabir and ram prasad sen see uh, if you listen to more like you know dj songs or like that you will be very much focused to those tunes but whereas people like great persons like tagore ji they want that harmony so they are trying to have such kind of a very peaceful thoughts we will get and this and the same thing tagore's most innovative and mature poetry and his exposure to bengali rural folk music which includes mystics ballads such as those of the bard lalun and his poems took on a lyrical voice of the manner manush monar manush the balls man within the heart 
and Tagus life force of his deep races or mediating upon the Jeevan Devta, right? The demi urge or the nature and the emotional interplay of human drama. Such tools saw use in the poem that Radha Krishna romance, which we repeatedly divide never in the course of 70 years. So this is how his poetry work goes on. And he wrote poems using Sadhu Bhasha, right? A, san a Sanskritized dialect of Bengali. He later adopted a more popular dialect known as Cholti Bhasha. Other works include Manasi, Sonatori, it's like Golden Boat, and Balaka, Wild Geese, a name redolent of migrating souls and Purobi. And Sonari Tori's most famous poem dealing with the fleeting endurance of life and achievement goes by the same name hauntingly it ends shino no there rhino kori jaha chilo oleo these are all the bengali words i can't say exactly all i had achieved was carried off on the golden boat only i was felt behind and the another important is that everybody knows and rabindra tagore is famous and known for it Gitanjali, right? It is the best known collection internationally earning him is the Nobel Prize. And now, uh, for a few minutes, uh, why we are talking about this and why we want to know the literary works of uh, Rabindra Tagore and the poem and all. So children, uh, I have given some things here. You can see on the screen and why Tagore was able to write many poems, many songs, he composed many songs, is that because he started penning down his poems at the age of eight. Remember, that means is in grade three, class three. And I think, you know, even he doesn't have any formal education also. So, my dear students, try to write one or two poems. And the first one, I just uh, see how we can do that, right? At least after getting such a great uh, inspiration by listening to so many poems. And I was talking about Rabindra Tagore's, like, you know, uh, where the mind is without fear and the head is held high. And it's about my mother. Right? So there are so many such poems to inspire and to know about the value of peace, freedom, and the devotion. And now here is a small uh, chant like, May I walk, may I walk. Here you can see a cherry. I'm just giving some kind of some kind of small uh, poem verse just for fun. I can say suppose let us see what a butterfly says. May I walk, may I walk with beauty, may I walk. May I walk, may I walk with beauty. In front of me, may I walk? With beauty, beside me, may I walk? With beauty, behind me, may I walk? With beauty, all around me, may I walk? May I walk, may I walk? So this is such a small poem. You can write such things because you are at the young age and I know you're all very creative children. So the same thing, suppose if I can change it like, you know, talk, simply change the word like may I talk, may I talk with beauty, may I talk with the beauty in front of me, may I talk like all the beautiful people and are in front of me and beauty beside me, may I talk with beauty behind me, may I talk with beauty all around me, may I talk, may I talk like that. Try to write 
small poems during this summer camp. I know you are all very creative and try to post any such kind of creative poems that you are writing and you can and small songs also. Gurushala welcomes all kind of your poems and songs, right? And as uh, you know, whatever you are doing, you can share with Gurushala in our platform, right? So now let's see. And up to now, whatever we have learned, let me give a conclusion to remember all the great works, the literary works of Rabindranath Tagore once again. The first one is Nastanir. It was published in 1901. This novel is about relationship and love, both requited and unrequited. And this is the first work uh, as soon as he came to Shantaniketan because when did he come? He visited Shantaniketan in 1901 and he continued up to 1932. And the next one is Gare Bayre. It was published in 1916 and it's a story about a married woman constricted in her household trying to find her own identity. And another one is Gora. In the, it was published in the 1880s. It is an expansive, exhaustive and extremely relevant novel that deals with several themes like religion, gender, feminism and also tradition against modernity. See, we were talking about both uh, that tradition and modern. It is uh, combined with uh, in Shantiniketan school also. That was his focus. There is no particular uh, line of education in that. Uh, uh, it's I said it was an experimental school when we talked about Shantiniketan. And hope we would have uh, been the students of Shantiniketan. And next, the other one is that Chokar Bali. And this one was published in 1903. This novel consists of various facets of relationships. Let us see, my dear student, when we talk about uh, various facets. In our life, there are three facets, my dear children. I know you're all young children. The first one is tighter side. The other one is brighter side. And the third one is lighter side. These three facets are important for everyone. But here I would like to say one thing, my dear young children. Most of the children are now focusing on the lighter side as you will have more time for games and watching movies or chatting with friends and all. But I congratulate all the students who are present here today because you are focusing on the brighter side. You know, brighter side is always like improve your communication skills or attending such conferences, joining in summer camps where we will have, this is called extra mileage. And the other one we talk about is the tighter side. Always many of the students they never go out of their box like books, leaving the books. And now I can say that only a few students are uh, focusing on this tighter side. So I can say that if you want to maintain good relationship, these three facets are important in students' life. The first one I can say, the tighter side, you should have some strict principles towards education, discipline and all. And the second one is brighter side, whereas try to attend Gurushala uh, or any other, uh, you know, like online or offline workshops on communication skills or ICT skills or anything, painting and all. And finally, 
there should be the lighter side whereas whereas uh you know like lighter side the focus is on like sometimes we should have fun with games and all right so this is all about uh, we are talking about chakar bali and the relationships and the facet and next his short stories are bikarni and kabuli wala chudita pashan atojju and hamanti and muzal manir golpo etc and try to read some of the books some of the books of these short stories like kabuli wala and all when you have time right and the next one is the poems are balaka purobi sonatori and gitanjali and another important thing we have seen is many countries have erected the statues to pay tribute to the legendary writer around 5 museums are dedicated to tagore three in india two in bangladesh so that you can recognize what kind of contribution he has made to literature and to our country right and as uh, i'm very happy to say that even in our school also we have celebrated rabindranath tagore and we have erected just a statue and next uh for any person after achieving so many uh, success and many achievements uh he never cared about his personal things so he spent his last year in pain and a lot of suffering and finally he died on 7th august 1941 in the jasco mansion where he was brought up that's all about our rabindra tagore and now let's take uh, we have three quizzes small recap just to recap and try to chart let me see we all know that uh, national anthem janaganmana is the famous one and it that trade goes to none other than rabindranath tagore and now the first question here is what is the playing time of the full version of national anthem option a is it 52 seconds option b 55 seconds or option c 60 seconds please chat in the chat box the full version of national anthem playing time is right now the next question right children yes so uh, sir uh, bacche jo hai वो कमेंट्स yes, में शेयर भी करने वाले हैं बच्चों सर जैसे पूछ भी रहे हैं कि ये बताइए कि जो पूरा टाइम ड्यूरेशन है हमारे नेशनल एंथम का उसका ड्यूरेशन क्या है बच्चों तीन ऑप्शन आपके सामने है एक है 52 सेकंड्स ए ऑप्शन बी ऑप्शन है 55 सेकंड्स और सी ऑप्शन है 60 सेकंड्स ठीक है तो अभी हमको ये बताना है कि इसमें से कौन सा आंसर आपको लगता है सही है सर वी स्टार्टेड रिसीविंग आंसर्स आल्सो सुशील जो है वो बोल रहे हैं ए है यानी फिफ्टी टू सेकेंड हाँ और yes. बच्चे क्या बोलते हैं कि कितना प्ले टाइम होगा हमारे नेशनल एंथम का हम लोग स्कूल में जब भी जाते हैं तो डेली प्रेयर जब होती okay. है तो वहां पे नेशनल एंथम भी होता है, है ना तो कभी किसी yes. ने सोचा है कि कितना टाइम लगता है हमको वो करने में आ, सर हमें यहाँ पे आ, एक और आंसर आया है वो भी 52 सेकंड्स का ही so, है yes, वनिता so, जो है yes, exactly. so, yes, yes. So, yes. हर्षद बोल रहे हैं सी है तो बच्चों यहाँ पे सर ने जैसे बताया कि करेक्ट आंसर जो है वो फिफ्टी टू है 
ओके प्ले टाइम जो है ड्यूरेशन जो है नेशनल एंथम का वो फिफ्टी टू सेकेंड का है तो कंग्रेचुलेशन सभी बच्चों को जिन्होंने सही दिया सर अगले क्वेश्चन की तरफ चलते हैं यस राइट एंड द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ठाकुर जयंती इज सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन वेन इज ठाकुर जयंती सेलिब्रेटेड ऑप्शन ए ऑन ट्वेंटी फोर्थ अप्रैल ऑप्शन बी ऑन द सेवेंथ ऑफ मे एंड ऑप्शन सी ऑन फिफ्टीन ऑफ मे प्लीज रिपीट इन हिंदी मैम Yes, yes. So, children, buck up, put on your thinking caps. जल्दी से बताइए कि टेगोर जयंती जो है वो कब सेलिब्रेट की जाती है देखिए तीन ऑप्शन है ए है आपका ट्वेंटी फोर्थ अप्रैल बी है आपका सेवेंथ ऑफ मे और सी है आपका फिफ्टीन ऑफ मे तो बच्चे जो है सर आंसर दे रहे हैं यहाँ पे आ, हमको आंसर आया है एक है ए है ट्वेंटी फोर्थ अप्रैल का है सुवर्णा जो है वो भी ए बोल रही है वनिता बी बोल रही है यानी सेवेंथ ऑफ मे अर्चना जी भी बोल रही है सर कि बी है ऑप्शन ओके सेवेंथ ऑफ मे वी आर गेटिंग अ फ्यू आंसर्स अभी यहाँ पे संगीता जी ए बोल रहे हैं सुवर्णा ने फिर से बी बोला है सुवर्णा बोल रही है कि बी है So, so let's take the audience poll. As the many answers goes, it's B. Option is B is the right answer. B, yes. So, more than all, all children have answered B. B ki taraf hi diya hai, sir. Jo hamara rujhan hai, pure vote ka bhi, wo B ki taraf hi hai. Seventh of May. So, correct answer is seventh May, sir. Seventh May, exactly. Okay, okay. Nitin Pandey ye bhi bol rahe hai, wahi bacha bhi bol rahe ki B. So, all the students, sabhi bachcho ko ek baar fir se repeat karte hai yaha pe. Tagore Jayanti ko celebrate kiya jata hai seventh of May. Okay, so maximum bachcho ne sahi jawab diya hai yaha pe. Congratulations once again. Ji sir. Right, right. Uh, let's move on to the next question. When did Tagore receive Nobel Prize? Option okay. A in 1941 option B in 1923 option C in 1913 Mhm mm your time so, starts now or you can answer question Time starts now yes yes time starts now sir ne bata diya hai apni taraf se question ki uh, Rabindranath Tagore ko Nobel prize kab mila tha humko quickly ye batana hai teen options aap screen pe dekh rahe hain A hai 1941 B hai 1923 and C hai 1913 ओके okay, चित्रा यहाँ पे बोल रही है सर कि सेवन अच्छा ये आई थिंक पिछले क्वेश्चन का आंसर दे रहे हैं सेवन ऑफ मे हाँ मान्यता बोल रही है सी सर माने 1913 इज व्हाट शी इज टेलिंग कविता ए बोल रही है मतलब 1941 यहाँ पे हमको हाँ चित्रा जो है वो बोल रही है ओके हमारे पास और भी चित्रा बी भी बोल रही है 1923 भी बोल रही है स्नेहा बोल रही है सर सी यानी 1913 संगीता 1913 काफी सारे सर आंसर्स जो आ रहे हैं ना वो सी की तरफ आ रहे हैं yes, मतलब yes, 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 1913 सो लेट्स टेक अगेन द ऑडियंस पोल एज यूजुअली द सी इज द राइट आंसर एंड इट्स 1913 13 13 यस 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 सो कांग्रेचुलेशंस स्टूडेंट्स आई थिंक काफी सारे बच्चों को रविंद्रनाथ टैगोर के बारे में सर ने जितना भी समझाया है उनकी लाइफ उनकी जर्नी उनके प्रिंसिपल्स के बारे में समझ आया है एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट ये है कि जो डेट्स भी सर बता रहे थे वो भी बच्चों ने याद रखा है तो दैट्स अ गुड थिंग हम यहाँ पे भी देख रहे हैं सर आंसर्स जो है बच्चों के मैक्सिमम तीनों क्वेश्चन में करेक्ट ही आए हैं मैक्सिमम बच्चों के my dear children that's no question but i'll ask just listen that we'll have two questions i think uh, we'll have fun because you know like only two question man hope we can do yes. it yes, yes yes sir so based on uh, the importance of certain things i have one question for you which word has all vowels in it like a e i o u you can repeat the question which word has name the word which has All the vowels in it. Vowels. A E I O U. Hey, Let them write. Bachos, hmm. हाँ हाँ very good ये question काफी अच्छा सभी बच्चों को अब जल्दी जल्दी अपना answer सोचना है आपको बताना है name the word जिसके अंदर सारे letters जो हैं वो vowels हैं ऐसा कौन सा 
जो वर्ड है जहां पे सारे वॉवल्स ही हैं वो वर्ड ही पूरा वॉवल्स से बना है तो कोई सोच सकता है क्या जल्दी से एक मिनट का टाइम देते हैं सर बच्चों को लेट्स गिव देम अ मिनट यस लेट्स गिव लेट देम थिंक तो जल्दी से देखते हैं हु इज एबल टू आंसर दिस जल्दी से क्विकली स्टूडेंट्स देखते हैं कौन कौन बच्चे जो हैं इसका सही जवाब दे सकते हैं नेम द वर्ड दैट हैज ऑल वॉवल्स इन इट ओके क्विकली स्टूडेंट्स जल्दी से सोचो क्या हो सकता है इसका आंसर आंसर ये जो हम जैसे एक्टिविटीज कर रहे हैं यहाँ पे दीज काइंड ऑफ एक्टिविटीज कैन ऑल्सो बी डन बाय टीचर्स वेन रिमोट क्लासेस और वर्चुअल क्लासेस आर है Uh, to capture the attention of students also. Yes, obviously. Oh. These, these are like small, small things to hum uh, kar sakte hain. That is a definitely interesting activity. Uh, activity time karke hum kar sakte hain. Guess the answer karke kar sakte hain. Jo hum bachcho ke saath kafi baar khelte bhi hain during live sessions. Okay, students, jaldi jaldi answers dijiye hume. Aisa kaun sa word hai jisme saare vowels hain? Jaldi jaldi sochte hain. and the clue here is exactly it's important for everyone and even uh, there are some basic principles we talked about uh, tagozi oh, when you worked yeah. on it yeah that's the main clue oh clue bhi aa gaya hai yahan pe clue yes. ye hai ki aaj humne baat bhi kiya hai uske bare mein okay aur it is important sab bachcho ke liye sab logo ke liye bahut important hai wo cheez socho socho kya ho sakta hai सर ने हमको क्लू भी दिया है कि वो हम सबके लिए इम्पोर्टेंट है आज हमने सेशन के दौरान भी उसके बारे में बातचीत की है रविंद्रनाथ टैगोर से वो लिंक्ड भी है क्या हो सकता है अभी आई थिंक सर सब सब बच्चे सोच रहे हैं कि ऐसा कौन सा वर्ड होता है ओके देन ओके देन सो शाल वी रिवील ओके स्टूडेंट्स हम बताते हैं आई थिंक सभी बच्चे अभी Uh, जो है वो सोच ही रहे हैं सब वी कैन टेल द आंसर नाउ यस ओके ओके फाइन एंड द वर्ड इज एजुकेशन ई डी यू सी ए टी आई ओ एन इन दैट वर्ड यू कैन फाइंड ऑल द वर्ल्स एन इट व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू राइट फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस नॉट ओनली फॉर यू दैट्स ऑल फॉर टुडे and shall we uh, if you have time i'll ask one more question yes yes sir definitely we can ask one more question yeah yahan pe sir main ek bar answer ko explain karna chahungi uh, education ka jo humne yes. yahan pe uh, answer diya hai to bachcho sir ne ye pucha tha ki aisa kaun sa word hai jahan pe sare vowels a e i o u sare hamare vowels hote hain ठीक है हमारे फाइव वॉवल्स जो हमने बताया अब अगर आप एजुकेशन का वर्ड देखोगे वहां पे सारे वॉवल्स यूज होते हैं हमने कभी भी इतना ध्यान नहीं दिया हम एजुकेशन को इतना प्रोमिनेंटली यूज करते हैं हम खुद एजुकेट हो रहे हैं बट हमने कभी ये नहीं ध्यान दिया कि अरे इस वर्ड में तो सारे वॉवल्स यूज होते थे ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट और काफी अच्छा सा मतलब आपने क्वेश्चन पूछा है सर एंड आई होप स्टूडेंट्स को भी समझ आया है एंड दे विल ऑल्सो आस्क यर पेरेंट्स आज अपने पेरेंट्स से पूछना ये वाला क्वेश्चन इट विल बी वेरी फन देखते हैं कौन से पेरेंट्स बताते हैं राइट वन मोर फनी क्वेश्चन राइट लास्ट क्वेश्चन यस यस लिसन नाउ चिल्ड्रन देयर आर 20 काउस इन द फील्ड इमेजिन आई वेंट टू शांति निकेतन देयर इज अ बिग गार्डन एंड देयर आर 20 काउस इन द फील्ड बट दीस 20 काउस हैव ओनली 44 लेग्स लिसन टू मी वंस अगेन There are twenty cows in the field. These twenty cows have forty-four legs. If it is math class, it is wrong. And if it is English class, it's right. Correct. How? I'll repeat the question once again. There are twenty cows in the field, but these twenty cows have only forty-four legs. If it is math class. it's wrong but if it is english class it's right how that is a riddle okay and you can ask in hindi yes sir yes uh, all right so students yahan pe but sir repeat, ne... say the say the word in english only you can ask okay, the entire okay. Uh, right okay 
Please, uh, please, I'll please. I'll bring up bring up the question, sir. You let me know yes, if, fine, if I fine. sort of mentioned it correctly or not. Yes, there that's are 20, fine. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. There are yes, twenty yes, cows in the field. Okay. Bacho, yes. question आ गया. सभी के लिए जल्दी से अब सोचना शुरू करते हैं. तो बीस काउ गाय जो है वो फील्ड में है. ठीक है. और हमारे पास हमें दिखता है total legs forty four है. Okay. Forty four. So, that we should. We should not write that number. Okay, forty-four. We say forty-four. Okay, right? we okay. have okay, okay total number forty-four. <laughs> forty-four. Okay. No, not Ab like math, number. Okay. Correct, correct. Forty-four. Now math class ki according jo hai, wo galat hai. Calculation to galat banta hai. But English class ki according wo correct banta hai. Ab jaldi se batao ki aisa kaise ho sakta hai ki mathematically agar dekhe, to wo to hume galat lagta hai. Par agar English me the sochte hai, to wo sahi lagta hai. तो क्या रीजन हो सकता है रिडल है ये पहेली है ये ठीक है एक पहेली को सॉल्व करना है जल्दी सर एक बार आप फिर से रिपीट कर सकते हैं यस माय डियर स्टूडेंट देयर आर ट्वेंटी काउस इन द फील्ड एंड दीज ट्वेंटी काउस हैव ओनली फोर्टी फोर लेग्स ओके इफ इट्स मैथ्स क्लास इट्स रॉन्ग इफ इट्स इंग्लिश क्लास इट्स राइट हाउ क्विकली कैसे हो सकता है फास्टेस्ट फिंगर राउंड कम ऑन थिंक फास्टेस्ट फिंगर्स फर्स्ट जल्दी-जल्दी सोचो क्या हो सकता है इसका आंसर मैथ एंड इंग्लिश दो अलग-अलग सब्जेक्ट हैं एक ही कांसेप्ट की बात की जा रही है एक सब्जेक्ट में वो कांसेप्ट चल रहा है इट इज वर्किंग इट इज करेक्ट दूसरे सब्जेक्ट में इट डज नॉट वर्क एट ऑल जैसे सर ने बताया हाउ इज इट पॉसिबल कुछ तो है बीच में ना कोई तो पहेली है क्या हो सकता है जल्दी से सोचो Start giving answers. Guess to karo. Sab log guess karke dekho ki kya ho sakta yes, hai. Yes, nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. You can. There is ab yaise kuch nahi hai ki ap ko answer nahi dena hai. Start guessing. Guess karna shuru karo. Dekhi to kya bolte ho. Question samajh aaya sabko? Ha ya na? Put it in the chat. Yes or no? Yes or no? Let's quickly write in the chat. So ye jo question hai jo apne abhi jaise pucha. ये बेसिकली जैसे हम एप्टीट्यूड जब हम टेस्ट करते हैं है ना तो आ, और और कई बार ऐसे बोलते हैं हायर ऑर्डर थिंकिंग स्किल्स कि हॉट uh, yes. जो हर एक टेक्स्ट बुक में भी इंक्लूड होता है तो ये उसका पार्ट है एब्सोल्युटली सर यहाँ पे बच्चों को क्वेश्चन तो समझ आ रहे हैं देखिए सब यस यस लिख रहे हैं ठीक है Like और आंसर uh, अभी नहीं क्वेश्चन समझ आ गया आई थिंक अभी भी सोच रहे हैं कि क्या होता है क्या okay, हो सकता है ओके 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 लेट्स आई थिंक आवर टाइम इज गोइंग टू रन आउट सो शाल वी रिवील द आंसर रिवील करें आंसर बच्चों उसका भी यस या नो बता दो जल्दी से अब कि शाल वी टेल द आंसर क्विकली यस और नो स्नेहा मान्यता सुवर्णा जल्दी से बताओ बताएं कि ना बताएं Yes, yes, कर रहे हैं सारे बच्चे आई थिंक सर डियर चिल्ड्रेन यूजली वी थिंक इज ट्वेंटी काउस एक्चुअली इट शुड हैव ट्वेंटी टू फोर एटी लेग्स राइट इफ इट्स मैथ क्लास बट एक्सैक्टली आई टोल्ड दैट इट्स इंग्लिश क्लास सो वॉट वी कॉल दिस फ्रेंड यू नो वी कॉल इट एज फोर हेड राइट सो फॉर एवरी एनिमल इट हैज फ्रंट लेग्स that is called as four legs like f o r e not f o u r right so that's why 20 cows have 44 legs and 40 hind legs four f o r e means front legs hope you understood now oh you, you are talking it. about the four head sir ye wala portion ka aap bata rahe hain 44 oh. legs 44 legs front legs are called as four legs not f o u r f o r e f o r e Yeah, yeah. The spelling is F O R P Y F O R E. Forty four legs. Acha, okay. <laughs> so this is for P. Four F O U R, sir. Not F O U R. F O R E only. Forty four legs. Y F O R E. Four legs. Front legs. So, if I do this like this, sir, here I'll quickly write it down. You, you have to write that yeah. answer. Yes. So you then you tell me. Yeah, four R P by. Uh huh. Yeah, four R E legs. Yes, yes. That's I'm it. just pushing, putting it. Is this the correct thing? 
yeah answer. that's it that's it that f o r e e you can remove it you can re- delete e f o r e e delete it okay okay 44 f o r e that's it ah people not f o u r it is just f o r e like 44 f o r e four jaise forehead bolte hai na f o r e h e a d to f o r e काफी ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन था सर यस 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 काफी ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन और देयर आर एंजॉयिंग समर वेकेशन दैट्स इट राइट एब्सोल्युटली एब्सोल्युटली एंड वी कैन सी इट इन द चैट आल्सो दैट स्टूडेंट्स आर ट्राइंग टू थिंक दे आर गिविंग देयर 100% टू थिंक जहां पे भी उनको ये पूछा जाता है एक्टिविटी इज समथिंग दैट स्टूडेंट्स हैव ऑलवेज एंजॉयड सर यस एंड हम अपने क्लासरूम्स में भी देखते हैं सो ऑन दिस नोट स्टूडेंट्स Uh, कितना सारा इन्फॉर्मेशन हमने आज देखा सीखा जाना रविंद्रनाथ टैगोर के बारे में एंड हमने देखा कि उनके कितने सारे क्रिएशंस हैं कितनी सारी फील्ड में उन्होंने बेसिकली काम किया है ही वो था नोबल लॉरियट एंड उन्होंने अपार्ट फ्रॉम लिटरेचर अगर देखा जाए तो उन्होंने कितने सारे पोएम्स जो हैं वो पूरा लिखा उन्होंने बुक्स जो हैं वो लिखी नेशनल एंथम की अगर बात की जाए ना इफ यू सी He has a lot of contribution, right? उन्होंने पूरे हमारे कंट्री में बहुत सारा कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन किया है सोशल uh, रिफॉर्मर भी हैं वो तो बेसिकली उन्होंने कई सारे काम किए और आज हमने देखा कि उनके प्रिंसिपल्स और वैल्यूज भी क्या हैं दीज प्रिंसिपल्स एंड वैल्यूज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू एंड दे नीड टू बी प्रैक्टिस ऑल्सो हमको भी प्रैक्टिस करने की जरूरत है कि हम डेफिनेटली काम करते रहें देखो हमने आज सर ने भी बताया कि uh, there is sadness there can be pain but all we have to do is we have to continue working because it is a cycle it will go away ab kai bar aisa hota hai bachcho ke examinations mein marks acche nahi aate to hum demotivate ho jate hain so demotivate kyu hona hai next time hum aur hard work karenge aur hum aur acche grades lekar aayenge aur acche marks lekar aayenge but all we have to do is keep working hard as a student abhi to vacation chal rahe hain but jaise hi aapke school khul jayenge we have to get back to studies hai na सबको पढ़ाई फिर से वापस से शुरू करना है एंड अभी तो हमारा फन टाइम चल रहा है तो अभी तो ये डेफिनेटली चलेगा इसके अलावा जो भी आज बच्चों ने सीखा है प्लीज एंश्योर कि आप सभी लोग जो है वो अपने पेरेंट्स के साथ इसको डिस्कस करना आज अपने सिबलिंग्स के साथ डिस्कस करना ओके इट विल बी फन टेल दम अबाउट रविंद्र नाथ टैगोर ऑल्सो एंड अपने पेरेंट्स के साथ इसके बारे में डेफिनेटली आज बातचीत करना ऑन दिस नोट सर आई वुड वंस अगेन ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ गुरुशाला लाइक टू थैंक यू फॉर शेयरिंग सच गुड इन्फॉर्मेशन विद आर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे थैंक यू सो मच एंड चिल्ड्रन आई लव द वे यू पार्टिसिपेट एक्टिवली एंड होप यू विल हैव मोर फन सेशन एंड मोर एंटरटेनमेंट and more educative sessions and informative sessions on gurushala do join and enjoy and have a nice time uh thank you so much and thank you everyone right yes uh, okay so students aap logo ke sath attendance form jaise session ke end mein share kiya jata hai wo chat pe share kiya jayega aap log usko fill kar dijiyega okay and we will once again meet tomorrow kal to hum aerobics karne wale hain हमने एक जो अभी ट्यूसडे को जो है हमने क्या किया था जुम्बा अब हम करने वाले हैं आरोपिक तो सब बच्चे रेडी रहना अपने शूज वूज पहन के रेडी रखना कल हम फिर से मिलेंगे इलेवन ओ क्लॉक एंड वी विल हैव द एरोपिक सेशन ऑल्सो थैंक यू सर फॉर ज्वाइनिंग टुडे एंड थैंक यू टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स फॉर बींग विद थैंक यू